Hi, welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Cat's Bit Productions. Please remember, if you like what you see, rate thumbs up and please subscribe. I appreciate that a lot. Please remember that all my videos about screen printing are a brief overview. A lot of the times I omit a lot of stuff, I won't mention a lot of stuff, or I may show you certain things that are for demonstrative or illustrative purposes only. It's not necessarily the uh, commercial methodology that I may use all the time, okay? So sometimes I do things just to demonstrate the technique, okay? Today, we're going to talk about printing white ink on black t-shirts. But what's different about this video is we're going to take a look at both of the techniques where you hit flash hit or where you do a multiple pass, flood and stroke, and send it right through the oven. Okay, we're going to compare the two and then we'll take a look uh, at the prints close up and kind of see uh, how much of a difference there is between the two kinds of printing techniques for printing white on black t-shirts. Alright, so let's cut into the uh, printing and we'll get started. Okay, so we're ready to do our first print of white ink on black. Got my black shirt, it's glued down. Uh, for this one, we're going to do the um, we're going to do the uh, just the the hit flash hit first. Okay, so so what we do for that, much like in the color as an underbase video, we're going to push the white ink into the knit a little bit first. Right. Okay. Now we'll flash cure it. Okay, and remember, you know, it's important to note that um, for white ink, the hit flash hit thing is probably is probably fine, and it even makes sense when you have a, a full rotary press, because then it's kind of the same difference as running two white screens. You know. So. Um, but. It, it can really slow down your production time. So when you've got multiple colors, a lot of colors, it's really easiest just to do a white underbase. All right, so we, we, we flashed it. We hit it once, it's flash cured. Now we're gonna hit it again. Okay, and that's basically the hit flash hit. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna flash cure this and pull this off, and then we'll do the uh, multiple pass with no flash, white on black. Okay, now for this one, this is just a multiple pass, one hit. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flood it a few times and put the first stroke into the knit a little bit, okay? So I'm trying to fill the knit up as good as I can. And if you, you know, you check it out, fill that knit good. All right, now this stroke is, is the stroke that's going to count. This is where, where you're gonna get all your coverage, all right? Now we're not flashing it or anything, and we're just gonna come back down and we're gonna do a multiple flood, and what this does is this starts to push the ink through the screen and actually past the, you know, uh, coming through the substrate side quite a bit. So it starts to get it where we want it to be so that it'll release onto the shirt with good coverage without having to flash it. So then you set it down and this stroke is going to be a really, really light stroke. Okay? And you look and you can see you want to make sure it clears out the ink. And it's a real light stroke and it's just going to basically push what you already flooded through there down onto the shirt. And that's basically it. Okay, so that's really good coverage. There's nothing wrong with this print. That's beautiful. That's fine. And a lot of the times you can do this with high opacity color inks too. If you get a really good red ink or a really good green or something like that that's very high opacity, you can do just print it the same way, just like that, without having to hit flash hit. Okay, let's cut and pull close up and take a look at these two prints. Okay, so here's the two prints side by side. And hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. This is the the uh, multiple pass, no flash, and this one over here is the hit flash hit. Okay, and hopefully you can see the hit flash hit tends to be less glossy. It has a little bit more texture of the screen mesh in it, and a little bit crisper edges. 
the multiple pass with no flash tends to be a little bit more glossy, a little bit less resolution around the edges, and also this technique can promote fibrillation, meaning that uh, any of the hairs on the surface of the shirt, when you work the ink on there while it's wet, those hairs have a potential to come up. So this print will tend to have a more fibrous look to the surface, meaning that you may see some of the t-shirt fibers coming through to the surface of the ink. And it, you know, depending on the shirt brand and quality, that you know may or may not be really a problem. Here, it's fine. So it's just it just depends. Let's see if we can get a little closer for you without messing up the focus. I don't know if that's focused, guys. Here we go. See there. I think you can see the texture there of the mesh, and then over here you see how you can see there you go you can see the um the how the fibers of the shirt show through a little bit more here this is the multiple pass no flash and this is the hit flash hit okay that's it so remember if you like what you see please rate thumbs up and don't forget please subscribe Thanks for watching.